Hi, I'm Mark Kettering. I'm the co-owner of Air Momentum Aircraft Engines uh, with my wife, uh, Lily. We build engines from a 1 liter, 75 horsepower to a 1.3 liter, 100 horsepower, 1.5 liter, 117 horsepower. We also do high performance versions of our 1.3 that's 130 and up to 147 on the 1.5. And they're our 1.3 and 1.5 are based on Suzuki. They're 100% brand new. We start with the brand new bare block from the factory, um, do blueprint the engine and build the engine to meet the tight uh, Suzuki specifications. We also have a 2 liter, 260 horsepower that we didn't bring to this show. Uh, again, Everything's 100% new. We start with the new engine and build it. We start with the bare block, the actual just block. It's been finished machined. The first thing we do is we go in and deburr every part on the inside and the outside of the engine, uh, something that the factory wouldn't bother to do. And it's not absolutely necessary, but it helps reduce the possibility of, you know, flashing, falling off at some point in the high vibration environment of an airplane. Then, as we assemble the engine, every spec uh, we check. We check all the clearances on the bearings, we mic the, the, um, the journals, we chamfer the, um, the oil galleys, we polish. Uh, we do the sort of things that a factory can't really do because they don't spend this sort of hand labor to build the engines. So by the time we're done with it, it's a better than factory built engine. Uh, another thing, we buy a whole bunch of connecting rods, for example. We weigh each rod, small end, big end, and then um, put them together in matched sets. So it's 100% brand new, but beyond brand new, it's been uh, blueprinted, they call it. but. Every little part that can be reworked or worked to make it better by either polishing or um, deburring or uh, checking the specs, we do. We, we went to the Suzuki factory. We buy some of the parts directly from Suzuki and then we buy other parts from their Suzuki OEM supplier. For example, the block in the 1.5 is not a current production Suzuki engine, but Suzuki needs some blocks as replacement for you know, their parts supply. Um, when Suzuki ordered engines from the engine block foundry, we ordered them with Suzuki. So we're working with them um, on our parts procurement or buying it directly from them. Our performance numbers, first, like our 75 horsepower, that's a factory rating. We haven't changed it from that, but we probably will in the future because we have our own in-house dynamometer. Uh, we put, right now we're putting every engine that goes out the door on the dynamometer and testing it. Uh, the, our 100 horse, when we do it, we always meet or beat that 100 horse, usually by two or three or four horsepower. And the same thing with the high performance. Like we claim 147 on this high performance. The last one that came off the dyno was 152. And so we're able to meet our numbers. We are able to verify that we meet our numbers. The performance on the airplanes, for example, uh, Aventura, which is one kind of behind you over that way that, that flew in here today or actually a couple days ago. We have the 117 horsepower on it. They have flown that same airplane with a variety of different engines. Uh, of Rotax 912s, 914s, um, uh, 110 horsepower from another company, uh, a bunch of different engines. Uh, even Continentals and Lycomings. They have told us specifically that with our 117, it beats a performance of any of the other engines in the same category, including the Rotex. Our 75 horsepower is 140 pounds. Our 100 horsepower, and you can do a higher horsepower version of that, and they're about the same weight, is about 172 pounds, 173 pounds. And it varies slightly if it's uh, upright or low profile. The AM15, 
the last one we weighed in a complete engine with a little bit of residual oil and everything, but it just came off of our dyno, weighed at 190.0 pounds. We can put our engines in almost any airplane that was designed or uses from the Rotax 582 up to a, a Lycoming O235 or even a Continental IO240. So any airplane that was designed for any engine but in there, we can help. The, the, the Zenith, for example, this mount on the, the low profile is Lycoming standard. So if we didn't have a mount for the Zenith, and by the way, we have mounts for the Zenith 701, the 750, and the 650, and we can also do mounts for a bunch of other planes. We have them for Aventura, Aventura Sea Ray, Chipper, um, uh, Savannah, RV-12. We have a complete engine package for RV-12 with the cowling, um, with the whole system. Same thing with the Zeniths. We have uh, cowlings, engine mounts, fuel system, exhaust system, everything you need. Some of the airplanes that we don't support directly, we can still do an engine mount, or you could use a Lycoming engine mount if they have it. And we have a nose bowl that's a fiberglass custom form nose bowl to fit our engine and radiator. So even if we don't directly support that engine or that aircraft, we have enough parts that you're going to be able to do it quickly and easily.